Hello everyone. This is the second half of my historic book collection. If you haven't seen the um first one, I would I would invite you to see that one as well. So that's that one that stack was kind of bigger than this one. But um but let, let us continue. So this right here, I also picked up at the um, Taflip booth at the local county fair right here. So this is a um, daily reading from the New Testament. It's kind of similar to the one that I showed you in the previous video, but the only difference with this one is it's divided up in the days for you like to read daily and stuff like that, like a little bit each day. And it's from about the same time period. This here's a um, letter from a bishop. This one's from 1941, so just one year before the um, previous one. Gives you a little backstory about each book right here. So like right here, December 1st or June 1st, depends on which one you would like to start with first. So yeah, it has every day of the year. As you can see, and there's like different versions that you've been able to buy at the time. Like here's a bigger print. Here's another, um, history book, American history book that I have that's for, that was a school textbook. Here's some checkout dates from the 60s, mid 60s. The Making of Modern America. This one's from, six, this version's from 62, 1962. So just slightly over 50 years old. And then here's getting into the actual history right here. But I like how this one has a lot of um, a lot of pictures. Here's another copy of the Declaration of Independence right here. It has little biographies of different American um, influential American people. Like, for example, this one's um, Thomas Jefferson right here. You'll see that throughout the um, you'll see that throughout the book. Here's a little bit about the Civil War right here. And then a little bit after right here.
Here's some presidents from the specific time period that's talking about in the book. Here we're going into the 1900s. Here's in the World War II. Here's a little bit about here about the government. That's about it for this one. This one, this one's a pretty big book. And this one is a um, book about the. Um, History of Virginia. This one was made like in the early 1930s, I believe. 1930. So right at the start of the um, Great Depression. So yeah, it has a decent amount of pictures in here that shows a lot about Virginia's early history. And it's divided up into like little sections and stuff. Here's during the Civil War, Virginia during the Civil War. General Lee, commander of the Army of Northern Virginia. And he um, succeeded General Joseph Johnston right here. Samuel Jackson. President of the Confederacy, Jefferson Davis. So it has like a little, talks about some battles during the Civil War in this part right here. And this is just after the war. And talks about some presidents, and then this is during World War One. So that's that book. We have a few more. Speaking of presidents, I picked this up at the local um antique store. It's about President James A. Garfield, who was unfortunately assassinated. 
I actually visited his house um, a couple years ago, and I did a video on my channel from the outside of his outside of his house in Mentor, Ohio. We'll go through this one quick because it's a pretty big book. There's Garfield right there. 